Let's get started on prepping this bed for the new bed liner that is going in this truck. There's leaves and dirt and stuff in here. It's not too bad. The bed's actually in really good shape overall, but we're gonna get this pressure washed out the best that we can and get it ready for prepping for the bed liner. Here's the after product, the bed all pressure washed out. We got a lot of that dirt and grime and stuff out. Pressure wash it for a long time. You can see there's some scrape marks down where there's some oxidation starting there, some rust. But other than that, I mean, we got it pretty well pressure washed. So I'm gonna take a microfiber towel, wipe down most of the bed, get my prep tool, prep it. This is how they're supposed to start when you turn the key. Dirt on the new carpet. Had to burn some stuff to make room in the shop. I had so much freaking cardboard piled up in here from all the LMC truck parts for the interior of this thing. Still got more over there. And actually, fun fact, I actually bought three windshields instead of one. Now I was joking around about ordering a second windshield, trying to make it sound like I did it on purpose, which clearly I didn't. And I looked in that box and there's two more brand new first gen windshields. So if anybody wants one, and you're in like the Fort Wayne area, hit me up. I will sell them 200 bucks a piece. They're brand freaking new windshields. And they're kind of hard to find unless you order them online, but they take a while to come in. Like this one took like six weeks to come in. But anyway, so we're gonna get to installing a bed liner kit on this truck. This is something that we've done many, many times. I did it with the regular cab, second gen Longhorn build that we did. I did it with my first dually that I had. I did it with my dad's first gen that he has. I've done it with a lot of trucks and I've gotten pretty good at it. It's really not that hard to do. It's just one of those kits that you can buy at like AutoZone or Napa or anything along the lines of that. And they're like 115, 120 bucks. And it's basically a DIY bed liner kit. You prep the bed, clean the bed, dry the bed, and then you just roll it on. Dry it on the tailgate here for a second. Okay, so here's the kit. I'm going to try to show you the basics of the kit, just so you guys have an idea. Basically like a sanding block. That's just to rough down the bed to make sure there's no grime or dust or debris stuck to it that's gonna create any issues with the bed liner sticking. And also if your bed, let's say it's a brand new one, it'll scratch the paint a little bit and give it more of a grippy surface to bond to. Oh, this is weird. Oh, great. <laughs> I've never bought this exact kit before. Now I need a tray. Protective gloves that come with this particular kit. It's a Rust-Oleum kit roller. And that is for basically applying the bed liner to give it some texture. That's the point of that. And then your brush is for like under your bed rails, corners, cracks, crevices, stuff like that. Just areas that obviously you can't get with this. That's what the brush is for. I also bought a can of the Rust-Oleum bed liner spray. It's supposed to be the same stuff, textured. So this is gonna be for areas that like I can't get to even with a brush. Maybe I'll tape it off and spray onto the undersides of the bed rails. Some of the corners if I can't get them well with the brush, stuff like that. So we're gonna get to drying the bed because I need to dry it. We're gonna work the bed with this. So I'm gonna get this first coat done, end the video out, and then I'm gonna pick it up tomorrow morning to finish it. Last night sucked. I was thinking that the bed liner was something that I could just like reseal that bag that it came in, you know, and like redo it tomorrow. Well, I started on it and I'm like thinking like, I'm just gonna wrap this up in a bit here. And I look at the bag and it says, cannot reuse once bag is open. Like it, it won't reseal. Like once you mix the two components in the bag, I'm like, okay, apparently that makes it hard enough and it's not necessarily just air drying. It's once you mix these two chemical components or whatever. So I was out there trying to get the entire bed liner done and it still turned out pretty good, but I just, yeah, it was not fun. Let's just say that the moths and mosquitoes and everything out there in the dark with the barn door open and the light, they're just all swarming in. It was horrible. It was, it was not fun at all. It was bad. Chicken but, feathers in your bed liner? Yeah, so yeah, we had, I had to scrape a few moths out of my bed liner this morning. But anyways, we're on our way up right now to pick up the headliner for the first gen. That way we can get the headliner hopefully installed today. And that way we have the interior all buttoned up except for the steering 
column cover that I still got to get besides from like sound system stuff is done, which is great. Um, well, I keep saying it's going to be done. No. I still got to get the center. Oh, that's what I forgot. The center console for that truck. This place is like 30 some minutes away. So when you forget something, it sucks. It's not just like around the corner. Dang it. That was my plan was to drop off a center console for that truck so that that could get built over the next week. Here is the final product of the bed liner that we did last night and I finished up this morning. Turned out really, really good. I just took a couple cans of the Rust-Oleum. This stuff is awesome. Like if you want to spray bed liner with a spray can, like to fill in the cracks and crevices you couldn't get, this thing is freaking awesome. The Rust-Oleum truck bed pro grade stuff, freaking amazing. It's got like a, here look, it's got one of those like fanned out tips on it. So it actually sprays a nice, wide, even application of bed liner. So I got all up underneath the bed rails in the cracks, the corners. Uh, I even went over this morning because I could see with it all dried up. Areas that were a little less coated than others and needed some touch up just to thicken it up so you don't see any of the white paint from the white truck bed underneath. And it turned out super good. Now over here, I didn't coat this with bed liner. I just marked it off and kept it away from the uh, edges here just because I didn't want to gunk this all up with bed liner and all up in here because this is going to be closed up against this portion of the truck anyways. I don't want anything interfering. Same with on this side, I did the same thing. And then I just masked it off and made a, it was a straight line, but the tailgate's not <laughs> perfectly straight. Uh, it does have a little crinkle in it. Um, but anyways, I, I masked it off and marked it. And with the tops of the beds, I did not do the tops of the bed rails. I just did the inner lip and everything from that down. Same with the back, I didn't do the top, just anything from the inner side down. And it turned out really, really spectacular. Turned out really good, really, really good. I'm gonna let it sit in the sun today. Obviously, I'm not just gonna go and start throwing stuff in the bed right now, so it's gonna sit in the sun for a little while, but although we can't use the bed liner today to see how it holds up, the back of Mrs. LMP's Cadillac. We got a new headliner for the resto gen. So this is the new headliner. It's all just jet black Super stoked. We're gonna try to get this in the truck today. It's gonna be a challenge doing it by myself, but It should uh, it should turn out pretty good Let me show you the interior of that truck here real quick just so you guys can get a good good visual at where we are with the interior so black carpet black dash I painted black door panels black paneling we have all new black trim to hold up everything in terms of the headliner and the pillar and the fronts and all that stuff. New plastics for the entire interior of the truck. This is going to be fun. We're going to have to try to figure this out, but it should turn out pretty darn good when it's done. That stuff always takes longer than you think it's going to. So I actually had to have my brother and other and his friend come out here to help me hold this headliner. I thought, I don't know why in my mind, I thought I was gonna be able to put this in one man with this old brittle headliner and not break it, but there's no way. I slid it in the cab, I started to lift it up a little bit. I'm like, nope, not gonna happen. There's no way. Because as soon as I would try to like lift it up, then I'd have to just grab the screw gun, hold the screw, hold the trim pieces to fasten the headliner up and all this stuff. I'm like, there's just, there's no way it's gonna work. And it looks really good now. Looks really good. The only eyesores are the trim pieces, you know, having little cracks here and there from over the years. Not much I can do about it other than if I can find some good trim pieces down the road, order them in, but otherwise it still looks pretty good. So here is the headliner. Yeah. It'll focus. Just a nice clean black headliner. These are the little cracks I was telling you about. A little tiny crack here and there. The three further down though, those are good. Just, just a couple little cracks every once in a while you see one. Mostly just the front though. Just the front trim piece here. Otherwise, for the most part, everything seems to be in great shape. These are gray still. Just kind of a bummer. I could always get them dyed black at some point here, but for now, they're still gray. I wanted to leave that uh, four by four how-to sticker on there. Super happy with how it's turning out, guys. Still got a lot to do. Here's the bed now that it's all perfectly well dried. 
Um, looks phenomenal. I'm really happy with how it turned out. So my overall feedback on that bed liner, guys, it's a Rust-Oleum bed liner. You can pick them up at almost any AutoZone store. The kit, I think, was 110. The three cans total that I bought in addition, those cans I was telling you about, the spray cans, those are 15 bucks a piece, at least in the store they are. So overall, you're looking at, you know, under 150 bucks, and you can do a bed liner like this. And it, and it looks really good. Now, how it's gonna hold up if you're actually abusing the crap out of it, I don't know. I can't tell you for sure because I haven't loaded it down. I haven't slid boxes and crap across the bed or logs thrown in there. At some point, we're gonna use it like that, but for now, I haven't, so I can't tell you. From the appearance of it and the feel of it, it feels great. It feels really, really nice. It looks really good. It, it looks like a professionally done bed liner. You know, and I did it in the garage. If you want to do this for yourself, maybe you've thought about it. 150 bucks versus spending, you know, 600, 700, 800 or grand on a bed liner for somebody else to do it at their own shop. I don't know how this is going to compare. Obviously, I'm guessing this is going to be a little lesser quality than that. But if you're somebody who's on a budget or you just want to do it yourself because you're not really worried about having to repatch it up here and there with those cans, maybe this is for you. Maybe you just have a bed and you want it to cosmetically look like it's finished. At least for me, I like to look of a bed liner than just like, paint getting all scratched up over the years. Maybe that's just me, but for some people, maybe it's just a cosmetic or aesthetic upgrade. If that's the case, it's great for that too. It looks really good. We should be getting the OBS back from paint any day. I did drop that truck off. That's the truck of the month that we're giving away right now. It's that 1997 Ford F-350 with a 7.3 Power Stroke in it. Yes, the truck's four-wheel drive. You have the option between the 24-inch rims that you saw in the picture there or some 16 by 10s in some brand new mud terrain tires on those. That's what's on the truck currently. I would show you if it was here, but it's not, it's at the paint booth. And if you wanna to enter to win it, this is how simple it is. You go to our website, lmpgear.com. Every $1 you spend is one entry to win. The entries and what they're worth are listed under every product. Every product has how many entries you're gonna get. Everything on the store counts and the giveaway ends on September 9th. I know how it can be. Sometimes you just forget what day of the month it is or whatever. That's coming up very soon. I mean, you guys are down to literally more than a week, but less than two weeks. So if you wanna to enter to win that truck, you're running out of time, stuff will sell out, and then you're gonna be wishing you would have entered at the last minute when a lot of stuff's gone, because I know how that usually goes. I usually get messages the next day. Oh, dude, I wake, is there any way you can still enter? I'm like, dude, you snooze, you lose. I mean, that's just how it goes. But join our other 16 diesel truck winners, you could be next. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit a like on this video if you enjoyed the progress on the Resto Gen. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. I'll catch you guys back here on Monday. Thank you so much. Peace.